good job of getting our kids to bounce back and play really well at pass defense, uh, including the pass rush. We had some pressure on the quarterback, uh, better part of the day today, and got some sacks. Uh, so I, I really uh, was pleased with that aspect. And then offensively, we, we noticed during the week that they were giving some opportunities to run the ball, and we felt if they played us on defense the way that we had expected, that we could run the ball. And our offensive line did a terrific job of getting off the ball and uh, knocking their defensive line back a little bit and gave Jake Sharp room, and Jake just had a great day. Uh, he not only ran the ball well in space, he took some vicious hits today, and he jumped back up. And I, like I said before, Jake Sharp is a hard charger. He's a tough guy. For some perspective, your first year on the job here, Kansas State came in here and won a game 64 to nothing. Now you fast forward it. You, you had won, to bring that up? Well, just for perspective, you, now you've won three in a row, and this is the most lopsided of those. Can you put perspective on it for us as to how far this thing has come since you've been here? Well, I, obviously we've made great improvement, but, um, you know, I, I, I still think it's a, it's a great in-state rivalry. Um, you know, uh, this year, in the last few years, we've played very well. And um, I'm proud of the way our kids played. Uh, obviously, there's, you know, there's progress. Our program has made a lot of progress. And uh, our fans are, are elated, I know, the, to have the, uh, the, the opportunity to get KU winning uh, some of these games in this Sunflower Series. And uh, overall, uh, I, uh, the credit goes to the kids. They want to do it. They want to get better. And each and every year, we seem to have kids that really uh, play hard, play together, and have great resolve. They're resilient. They bounce back from tough days. So I'm very proud of the players that, that play in this program. You mentioned the way that Jake was able to, to take a hit and then jump back up. And he gets 21 carries for 181 yards, over 70 yards through the air, and four touchdowns. I know you've always liked him as a player, but did you think that a guy his size could – take the kind of a pounding and be a workhorse like that when you got him? Well, he, he has proven to us he's exceptional. Most guys his size cannot. But he, <clears throat> excuse me, you cannot measure um, a guy's heart. You, you know, you can measure how fast they run, how high they jump, the, the weights that they lift. But you can't measure intestinal fortitude. There's no real measurement for it. And he has it. And he's a tough customer and you know, we're, we're, we, and he's a great guy to be around, and uh, his teammates like him. Um, he's proven that he could play at the highest level of college football and be successful at it. When I think there were some people that, that questioned that at one point in time. Um, I'm glad that we didn't have uh, those thoughts about him because we're glad to have him in our program. I don't care who did what today to help win the game. The bottom line is every kid in the locker room has got a victory today. But, you know, the, <clears throat> the fact that it's Jake and he's, you know, well-respected in the state of Kansas, uh, and not only as a, as a player, you know, he's a well-liked kid. He's a great kid. You know, just he's everything you want in a student athlete and in a, as a person. So I think it's, uh, it's great that he had a big day today. We felt like in, in, against certain formations that, um, you know, they light, <coughs> excuse me, lighten the box up what we call plussing linebackers, putting them to the formation, which would give us an opportunity to run the ball. And they did that a little bit. And then we got into a rhythm running the football where when they did get back and, uh, you know, try to blitz us and play a lot of man-free coverage, our, our kids were really getting off the ball, the offensive line. And Jake Sharp really had a good feel for the – uh, the angles and the reads, he just had a good feel for where they were going to be uh, when they were playing their gap responsibilities. Jake Laptad had a big day today. Jake has been on the – he's a good football player. He's only in his second year with us. And we, we have felt for a long time, and we, I should say we know that he is a good football player and only going to get better. And now he's starting to get comfortable with his fundamentals, with his pass rush techniques and things like that. He, he is a guy that's going to help us down the road as well uh, with pressure on the quarterback, but also a good run stopper. And then Russell Borson is just Russell. I mean, he's, he's dependable as they come. You know, he's not flashy. 
He's not the biggest guy, but you know you you can't fool him. He's a brilliant guy. Uh, not only when I say brilliant, not only with school books, he has what you call some street smarts and football smarts. He knows he knows how to play the game. We we learned a lot last week. You never like to say this, but maybe we needed last week. Um, I think it it opened our eyes to where areas that we need to be, <coughs> excuse me, uh, <coughs> better, uh, areas that we need to improve on. Um, we got to be smarter as coaches and as players. So all was not lost last week. I, I don't want many, I don't care for those kind of lessons. I'd prefer not to have those. But this football team, you have to give them credit, they took an, a negative and turned it into a positive. They could have easily just you know, showed up and rolled out on the field today and, you know, feel bad for themselves. You know, there are a whole lot of people outside of this room and even some in it talking about our, our, our defense and our players and we weren't very good. And, and nobody likes to hear that. You know, I, I don't like to hear it about our players and um, they don't like to hear it. So, we, so you have a choice. We can sit around and feel bad for ourselves. We get to work, get to the practice field and um, – and get it done. You know, some teams, when they have a couple of losses, they sit around and count the days till the season's over. I told our guys, don't count the days, make the days count. And that's the approach that they took this week. Today is a day that, without me watching the tape, and I'll lend, you know, I'll, certainly I'll have a critical eye, and there'll be a lot of things I don't like, but just from being on the sideline and observing today, I thought our offensive line for the first time really, everybody was hitting on all cylinders. Um, you know, we have a couple guys that are banged up, so we had to re rotate some guys in there, and they did a, a fabulous job too. Um, I think we can take today and really grow and learn uh, about our offensive line play. Today was a good day for them. We talked all week about the importance of getting out of the blocks quickly, and that if we could set the tempo early, we felt we had a chance to take control of the game. We felt if, if we started out slowly and let them hang around, it would be to their favor, not to our favor. And our offense and defense came out and ready to go and set the tempo first quarter. Yeah, uh, his season's over, unfortunately. And it's sad because he's one of the most improved guys we have. We had planned to play him a significant amount of snaps today to help Joe Mortensen. He would have played more snaps today than he has in his career here. It was part of the game plan. But um, he suffered an unfortunate injury, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get him going. We'll get him a good off season and get him ready because we're going to need him next year. He's, As I said, he's one of the most improved guys we have. He's a good football player, so we'll get him back. We'll, we'll have him ready for next season.